What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here, and to be perfectly honest, I just woke up. I haven't even had a chance to suck down unhealthy amounts of caffeine. I was getting ready to edit my Baldur's Gate 3 review because that game's an utter masterpiece, when suddenly I saw all over Twitter people kept saying, hey, the Red Dead Redemption remake has finally been revealed. But when I clicked it, that's not quite the case. It turns out this is not a remaster, this isn't a remake, it's not coming to Steam or PC or Xbox, it's just coming to PlayStation and Nintendo Switch, and it's not that good. Let's discuss. What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here. Hi, I hope you guys are having a great morning. If you can like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to watch my Baldur's Gate video when that goes up here in a couple hours, because that might actually be my game of the year, but we're not ready to talk about that. So here we are over on Twitter, breaking news, Red Dead Redemption has been announced for the PlayStation and the Switch. Yes, you are reading that correctly. Now, we just know for a fact, despite the fact that there have been so many rumors and leaks talking about it getting a remake, all of that is wrong. It's not coming to PC, it's not a remake, it's not a remaster, it's just a straight up port of the current Xbox upscaling. So if you want to play this on the Xbox, there is a way to do it, which is the backwards compatibility. If you put an actual physical disc of the original Red Dead into your console, it, it essentially downloads like a 4K version of the assets. And that's it. Now, I have to admit, I am completely confused by this. Um, I decided to take a look at the trailer to see if maybe this is somehow a misunderstanding, or maybe sometimes there's games that aren't a remaster, they just call it the same name, like the Dead Space game. Dead Space Remake is just called Dead Space. I thought, well, maybe it is going to be some sort of remaster, right? No. They're doing this because they want to sell the exact same game again, but this time on Nintendo Switch, and of course on the PlayStation 4. And yes, you did hear that correctly. It's not coming to the PlayStation 5, it's coming to the PlayStation 4. What in the crack smoking Jesus is this? Like, Rockstar Games is in such a weird spot because they have some of the most award-winning titles ever. The original Red Dead Redemption and its weird-ass freaking expansion, Undead Nightmare, are amazing. The fact that these are coming to current consoles is interesting, but why just do a straight port? I can only assume that they sold absolute gangbusters of games like L.A. Noir on the Nintendo Switch, but this just feels incredibly lazy, and I have been trying to do my best to move away from that term. I, I do feel like lazy is a word that's not just, well, toxic, it's reductive. It, it implies a lack of purposeful effort. But in this case, Rockstar Games is being lazy. I mean, how else can you actually explain the fact that this is the game with no effort, no polish, no boosts to frame rate, no new costumes, no new lines, no connection. It's just such a weird slapdash lazy project. Even going to their website, I decided to look, maybe they'll have some like cool 4K screenshots. Even their website is just incredibly lazy, saying it's coming to PlayStation 4 and uh, and the Nintendo Switch, meaning that, again, it's the Lord's 2023, and yet we're still getting games that are just coming to PS4, and they have the auto-upscaling sometimes for the PlayStation 5. Seriously, I can only assume that they're feeling a bit afraid. Obviously, we know for a fact, because of the crazy hacks that happened last year, which were very fun to look at, that Rockstar Games is currently full steam ahead, dedicated to the idea of Grand Theft Auto 6. They're completely dead set on the idea of making it the biggest, most expansive, and obviously most profitable game ever. And in that way, as somebody that has looked at the leaks, it seems like they are achieving that goal. And because of this, it's occupying all of their time, which means their B-tier projects have suddenly become C-tier projects. Obviously, the best example of this being the GTA Definitive Edition Trilogy. Now, some people enjoyed this. Personally, I actually kind of enjoyed the fact that we are getting some sort of remake. Like, here it is, a side-by-side -side comparison. The Definitive Edition, to a lot of different people's eyes, just looks worse, it plays worse, it's glitchier, 
As you can see, the Definitive Edition just had too clean of visuals. They lost a lot of the aesthetic, the vibe. A lot of times it looked like they were using AI upscaling to try and make like font and stuff. This is supposed to be graffiti art. And honestly, it looks like melted plastic lettering. This though, made them get hit with a lot of backlash. People were absolutely livid when they saw GTA Definitive Edition. They felt like this was honestly a betrayal of the game. Oh, look, it's raining uh, under a bridge. That looks pretty dang bad. But after this, I think that Rockstar Games got a bit gun shy. I think they probably spent a depressing amount of money on this. Uh, it looks really cheap, but I bet they probably spent millions and millions of dollars to try and get this at least semi-decent quality, and they just failed horribly in that effort. But I think that after this game was met with such overwhelming, extensive vocal backlash, I think they said, okay, don't worry about a remaster. Don't worry about a remake. Take the game that people already enjoyed and just shove it down their slutty throats. I guess I am very, very confused about modern day Rockstar because they have literally more money than pretty much any company but Activision Blizzard or Microsoft, obviously. It feels weird that we know because of financial reports that Grand Theft Auto Online has made literally tens of billions of dollars. So you would assume that in some aspect that would lead to bigger games with better graphics and crazier worlds and nicer expansions, more spin-offs, more remakes. Where's the next Manhunt game? Where's the next Max Payne? Where's the next game that's actually going to feel cool and different? Like, what are they doing with all this money? Are they just sitting on it like a dragon's hoard? Smog, make better remix. This is a baffling circumstance that truly to me makes zero sense. Even absolute freaking fanboys. This guy right here has an actual account dedicated to just GTA, just Rockstar Games, L.A. Noir. His profile picture is actually a picture of the main character of freaking Red Dead Redemption. And they're like, what the heck? This is disappointing. It's still not coming to PC. It's nice it's coming to consoles and Switch. It'll be interesting to see what visual improvements it'll bring to the table. Oh my God, they didn't even make this. They're just making it by Double Eleven Studios. They're notable for developing titles behind Fallout 76 and Minecraft Dungeons, Rust Console Edition. Man, hopefully it comes with improvements. It's just a little disappointing, but extremely thankful for Rockstar. So, I mean, these people are trying to be positive, but this, this feels a little bit like copium. What a disappointing day. This should have been epic, and it turns out that even Rockstar Games isn't doing it internally. They literally hired a team to even port it. What a very strange morning. Okay, well, I love you guys very much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, keep dreaming. And go watch my Baldur's Gate video here in uh, an hour or two. It's actually almost done editing. I'm going to put that up probably at uh, in like about two hours from now. It's long and it's deep uh, because that game is long and deep and blew my back out. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.